All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today we're going to be doing a rally or a, a Norge Life on the VR2 from PlayStation. So, if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, I have been playing with this for a little while um, today while I'm waiting for those chargers to, uh, while I'm waiting for those um, controllers to charge. So, uh, bear with me, my friends. Hopefully we're getting the actual sound this time. I recorded another video and man, I did not get any sound. So that really sucked. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into this. Let's do it. Oh, I got to put my headphone in. Oh, come on. Sorry, don't have my headphones on. All right, now we're in. Let's get going. Sorry, guys, about that little mishap, but... I'm, if this video records my sound fine, I'm not changing it again. All right, we are on the Nord Life. Let me tell you about my first impressions on this. I, I'm, 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 I'm ecstatic. I'm blown away. This is beautiful. I love how good this looks. It's uh, nice and sharp. It's clean. The trees look great. The freaking it it looks fine yes you could tell they're 2d trees but my gosh man this looks so beautiful now i know that a lot of people were talking about like the mirror effect uh let me stop and let me let me just stop and like show you what, what i'm talking about so mirror is is something inherent to like um oled displays this looks sharp this looks very 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 sharp very clean very good um but i can notice on the dashboard that it that it kind of has like that uh it almost looks like um like film grain and that's that's pretty much it but it is not that bad like it is not bad at all like you can only notice it when you stop and really look at it now this looks incredible this looks so sharp so clean this is definitely the nicest looking uh racing game i've played in vr for sure for sure hands down uh the sense of speed is literally incredible like this feels so good so fast wow like you feel like you're going pretty dang fast in here i think i think gran turismo hit the nail on the head i i 100 forgive them for uh for for toning down the visuals of this game but i i understand why and this makes perfect sense and they pulled it off, man. They did definitely pull this off. This experience is is incredible. Like being able to look wherever you want, like as you're driving and stuff and seeing this. Like this just looks so good. This car is so beautiful in here. Wow. Still get the tree trunks popping in, but you still, I mean, you're still noticing some popping, but yeah, this looks sharp. This looks good. This looks better than what I was expecting. When I heard John Linneman talking about 240p and stuff, I'm like, where where are you seeing 240p at, bro? Like, I'm not seeing, like, no... I, like, you can't tell. You can't tell. You could tell that them trees up there and stuff might look a little bit a little bit blurry. But, yeah, not, not enough to where it's like, oh my gosh, it's going to ruin my experience. The 2D trees, you know they're they're here they're here to stay i mean they're not going anywhere but you're so immersed in this i mean you can you can definitely tell that that these these visuals for gran turismo were built for vr you can because it looks pretty freaking close to what it looked like out there the only difference that i'm noticing on the nord life is just the trees the trees look more like they did on Unlike the older, unlike the older racing games, but that HDR in here is freaking incredible. The HDR in this headset is so insanely good; it's not even funny. I don't, I, 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 I can't even begin to tell you how much of an improvement that makes, all by itself, just in terms of, uh, in terms of overall image quality. This is great, man. Like you, 
this this is this is better than I thought it was going to be. To be completely honest with you, this is much better than I thought it was going to be. It looks sharp. It looks crisp. It looks clean. The sense of speed is undeniably freaking incredible. The the re, the refresh rate looks good. I'm not seeing any ghosting, any blur, any of that kind of stuff when I like move my head or anything. It just looks good. Now wherever my eyes are focused on, it looks even more pin sharp. But when you look out there, I mean, if I look over at the trees and stuff, they kind of look, you know, they kind of look a little bit, a little bit weird and stuff. Cause they're like, they're like 2d, like watch. They're, they're definitely like 2d or whatever, like flat. Like they look like they're flat. Um, they definitely look like they're freaking billboard trees, that's for sure, but... Like, you're so immersed. Like, if you're just paying attention to the road, man, the immersion is so much greater. Just by keeping your eyes right on the road, man. Whew. It looks so good. It looks sharp. This looks this looks good, man. I'm, I, f I feel like the... I feel like the PS5 is kind of punching above its weight, to be completely honest with you. With this experience. Uh, as soon as my controller's charged, we'll be checking out that other stuff. I'll go live and we'll uh, we'll check out we'll check that kind of stuff out. But in terms of Gran Turismo, man, ooh, boy, this is one heck of a one heck of an experience, man. And I'm in that Ferrari. <laughs> I love this car, man. This this looks so good in VR. <laughs> Whoa. Like, this just looks and feels incredible. This is the... This is incredible. None of those other racing games have this sense of speed. They don't have this good of a sense of speed in the VR. I mean, well, no, Dirt Rally 2.0 does have definitely a good sense of speed. So that's... Uh, man, I wish they would bring that... I wish they would update that for this. So bad right now. Oh, I wish they would update this. I would even pay I would even pay money for that. And I already own it on PS5. I would definitely pay money for Dirt Rally 2.0 on here. Whoa. Whoa. Shoot. Sorry. <laughs> oh man. See like my mirror looks all clear and everything. You can just sit back, you can look at the mirror. Woo! When you get your head closer and put it back, dude, this is such a great experience. <laughs> dude, I'm sold. I'm 100% sold on PSVR 2, man. Like, like, look at this. This car, man. The sheer detail, the material, the way everything looks in here. Looking at that mirror up there, that looks that looks so good. That looks very very nice. Now it does have that gamey look, of course, but uh yeah, this is this is great. This is definitely great. So, so sharp and so clean. I wonder how long it's going to be for them to be able to get better looking trees. Because that's really the only thing that stands out. That's the only thing on this game that stands out like a sore thumb is those freaking trees, man. That's literally it. But they already stood out like a sore thumb on the base game, too. So, yeah. I, I, I didn't expect much more out of that. But this right here... This just feels incredible. Yeah, so like I'm not noticing like a major bad mirror effect at all. 
definitely not no screen door effect. It doesn't look like it looks it looks pretty pretty sharp. It looks pretty sharp. Don't notice any screen door effect whatsoever when I stop and look close. I, I'm not noticing that. I just notice what appears to look like film grain and that's that's really it. That's the only thing. Maybe I mean like obviously like the distance looks a little bit, you know, not not as sharp and crisp. But everything like in front of you looks pretty good off to the side you know like wherever your eyes are looking like in your peripheral vision it does look a little bit you know like blurry or whatever but that's that's probably due to the foveated eye rendering which I'm I, I like I'm glad they I'm glad they pulled this off I'm glad I get to experience this the way it feels right now I'm very proud of Polyphony Digital for being able to bring this experience this nice. This is a good experience for me. Wow. Probably just finish this lap and put this video up, man. Like if this if this is the kind of experience we can expect from PSVR going forward, PSVR 2, I'm I'm a little bit I'm I'm not as I'm not as upset about the price. I'm not as upset about the price. Like this is one heck of a freaking experience, and Gran Turismo Seven is a game that that I can play for a long time. Like I could play this game for a long time, and yeah, this has actually got me really considering picking up a um, a, a new steering a new steering wheel for PS Five. This really does have me considering just going with the Fanatec. That'll be good for all three of them. And that's probably, yeah. I'm not even going to argue with that. It's a direct drive wheel. It's got options that I can use for all three. PC, PS5, and Xbox. Yeah, it sounds like that's my, uh, that's the, that's the route that I will be going. Because this is great. I mean, I'll be trying it a little bit later on the, with the uh, DualSense Edge in the, the motion control with it, with it on the wheel too. I might just like, zip tie one of my uh, one of my dual senses to it. <laughs> oh man, this is so good. Yeah, I'm pretty sold on this experience. This is this is the most this is far superior to what the other racing games look like. Even even far superior to what Dirt Rally 2.0 looks like on on my PC. This does look better. Some areas right here like with these trees, these ones look fine. But then there's some areas on here that that look a little bit not that great. But for the most part, I'm I'm pretty happy with this experience. This looks freaking incredible. I'm not getting sick. I don't feel any kind of any kind of issues whatsoever. Dual Sense Edge is holding up really nice on this. This is good. This is good, guys. This is a good experience. This is so cool. I'll be doing like a like a video here in a little while too about this. So I want to touch on some stuff that I'm really liking about this. The HDR support in here is is incredible. This looks so good. That skybox looks so nice. Yeah, this this is a good experience. Look at that sense of speed, man. Just whoo, flying by. Oh my gosh. This sense of speed is incredible. Mm. 
This 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 has got me like okay, I'll just deal with the uh with the arcadiness of this and just play around with it, man, cuz this is great. So, man, all right, guys, if you like this experience or if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to have plenty more of these freaking VR videos coming out. This looks great. This really does look great, guys. So, if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.